Hey guys, it's Phil here, and I am on the farm of Dan Kittredge. If you don't know me, by the way, I'm my website is smilinggardener.com, and I teach people about organic gardening and how to grow your own food that's really high in nutrients. And uh, if you don't know Dan, he has been an organic farmer forever, and he teaches organic farming. What he's doing on this farm here is growing very high nutrient dense food, and that's his main goal here. And then his other goal is to teach you how to do that. So um, he has a nonprofit, and he has a website called realfoodcampaign.org, and another one, I think it's bionutrient.org. Uh, so what I'm doing here today is I'm just gonna try to get Dan talking, because he has a lot of wisdom, a lot of experience to share with you to help you grow that nutrient dense food too. So I'd like to um, frame this as a conversation on the production of high quality crops, um, which I call bi high bionutrient crop production. Um, and Basically, what we're about to uh, discuss are a number of critical steps and stages in the process of growing healthy plants. Um, we're basically looking at the biological system and how it works, and we're uh, identifying limiting factors through the growing season um, and how to address them step by step, um, systemically, and why. So. Uh, the general principle here is that the biological system is a highly functional, highly um, capable system. It's been around for a long time. It is the reality that uh, we live in, whether we understand it or not. And it is certainly the reality that our plants live in, whether we understand it or not. So we're going to try to identify the critical uh, key limiting factors in the biological system um, and address them. And with having accomplished that, we let the system work of its own volition. Uh, the key limiting factors that we'd like to address and focus on are uh, mineralogical, what are the minerals that are needed in the system and <clears throat> what's present and not present, biological, what are the bacterial and fungal and other um, species that are necessary for a functioning biological system. We need air, uh, we need water, and we need carbon. Um, the reality of the matter is that the life at the bottom of the food chain is, is uh, the area we're focusing on. When what? the bacteria... So what's the bottom of the food chain? The, ba when the, ba the bacteria and the fungi are the, are the bottom of the food chain, uh, the single-celled organisms and the multicellular organisms. And as it is in the ocean, when you have um, the plankton that everyone else eats up the food chain, here it's the bacteria and fungi. Um, so they need air to breathe, they need water to drink, they need minerals to build their bodies out of, um, they need carbon to live in. Um, <clears throat> so these are the, the key uh, limiting factors that we're going to be addressing systemically through this course. And so we're thinking not about the plants first, but it's about these little guys and what they need in terms of the minerals, the biology, the air, the water, the carbon, and then obviously up to the plants mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Right, and, and understanding what's needed when and how to address it systemically. Okay, and what's, so what's our main objective here then? The main objective is to grow high quality crops. Okay, cool. <laughs> and that's what you're doing right here behind us. And that's what we're doing here on my farm. We're okay. doing our best. So what is quality? Uh, quality can be determined uh, a number of different ways and they're all relevant. Um, the direct personal uh, experience of quality is flavor and aroma. Uh, a carrot that tastes delicious as opposed to a carrot that tastes bland or bitter. Um, a tomato that tastes delicious as opposed to a tomato that tastes like uh, a cucumber. Um, a peach that tastes delicious as opposed to a peach that tastes like pulp. Um, we have d direct um, functional capacity on our tongue and in our nose to discern the compounds that we're looking for uh, that correlate with human health and vitality. The aromatic compounds, the uh, antioxidants, the phytonutrients, um, there's a whole set of compounds that are correlated with quality, that correlate with flavor, they correlate with shelf life, um, and as the plant is growing they correlate with greater pest and disease resistance and vigor. 